Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix, and welcome to my next LP, if you're watching these in order, Paper Mario Color Splash. This is, honestly, my favourite game on the Wii U, which is saying a lot, considering how many people hate this for being a Paper Mario game. But this game has a lot of charm, at the very least it's fun to just listen to all the characters throughout, even if it doesn't quite have that same charm and gameplay as the Thousand Year Door. But I still think this game is great to play and always puts a smile on my face. So let's get right into it. Okay, I'll be honest, I thought there was some text in that cutscene, but don't worry, there will be a lot of text and dialogue in this game. Maybe a bit too much, but it's all funny and worth it, most of the time. Sailing in, this honestly does remind me of the Thousand Year Door quite a bit, but hey, they're both good games. Just don't follow them along the others. Guys, we're here! I can't do a toad voice. So I'm not going to try. So this is the famous Port Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Uh, where is everybody? Ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we, Port Prisma? Not quite on land, Pete. I thought this was supposed to be a tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? Yeah, weird. I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world famous Mario. Speaking of Mario, what's he doing? Mario, we're here. Come on out. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. You look like a used gum wrapper. Line yourself out, man. All we have to do is jump a bit and... There's my Mario. Much better. Alright, let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding. A folded up colourless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Not to worry, Princess, I've read the poor Prisma guidebook cover to cover. We'll want to head to Prisma Fountain in the centre of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Sounds like a plan. But I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with caution. We can move! And we can talk to them, but hitting them with... is so much fun. Okay, we can't hit them. Sorry, guys. We'll just have to head round here. And read this white letters on a white sign. That's like bad design 101. Who approved this letter? Oh yeah, this this is great. Ah, now we're talking. Looks like there's something up on that box. Yep, we can see it. It's a hammer. Let's grab our hammer and actually check it out. Woo! Score, this totally makes up for accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during a voyage. Right? Better works just like your old one. 
Let's use it as practice on Toad. Ow! Do I look like a crate to you? Well, you did throw my hammer overboard. Don't make me take that hammer away from you, because I will, mister. So good. Anyway, you can break crates, and even these barrels, not those big ones up there. But that's okay. Um, you might want to collect coins, but trust me guys, you don't need to worry about coins in this game. Sorry crate, you gave us no choice. Let's go check out the town. On we- onwards we shall go. I'd kind of like some music again, please. This is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, um, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find someone. There's no mistaking the postmark on this poor Toad. He was definitely mailed from poor Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? That, some kind of device just rose out of the fountain. Maybe you should take a closer look at it. Okay, well, we don't need to. All we have to do is find three colored things that trigger that. Number one is this right here. Give it a good old whack with your hammer. Number two is over on the left, which I think is just a flower here. And I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I really struggled to find this third one. Like, I spent a good 20 minutes here before trying to find this third one. It, it is simply just this brick in the wall. Well, that ain't quite a glorious rainbow fountain, but... Huh, is that a paint can? Okay, let's check it out and open it. No, didn't work. But that's okay, because we have a tool that's good for opening paint cans. What was that for? How would you like it if I whacked you with the hammer while you were sleeping? Oh, we're so sorry. It's just that we thought you were a pain can, so we tried to open you up. A pain can? You think I'm just some regular pain can? Alright, you don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. But I'm so much more than a regular pain can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? Your treat. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. Only, it's not an ordinary letter, it's a toad. Yeah, we got a Peach. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom. And this is my friend, Mario. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. And I also have a very bright, hard-working retainer around here somewhere. I think that sound effect was fine for that. What was that, though? Stop! Get off me! That didn't sound good. Yeah, we better go check on Toad. He's probably dying. Or just being a Toad, let's face it. Maybe t being turned into some bricks or coins, who knows? Stop it! My, my beautiful colours! Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me! I I can't feel my pants! But I did find something that might come in handy. Take these and remember me, Ronly. 
Gee, thanks for whatever that was. You got a bunch of cards. Use those battle cards on this sucker. Here he comes. Well, hold it. Do you even have any paint, Mario? Uh. You don't have any paint. I can smell paint from a mile away. What are we going to do? There's no paint around here. Ah, there's no other choice. Mario, you're gonna have to ring me out. Just press the button for a good squeeze. Um, okay, well, we'll take our time. This enemy ain't going anywhere. I'm so light and airy. Is this what you paper folk feel like all the time? All right, enough flapping in the wind. The paint you just absorbed is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You'll have time to shower later. Use that paint to power up those battle cards your friend gave you, and then use the battle cards to plaster this introverted assassin. Hey, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, if that's cool. No, that's definitely not cool. And since when were there three of you? Whatever, we've got cards, we've got paint. You know what to do, Mario! Here we go! And this is where the fact that I'm playing on a Wii U comes in, because I have no idea what I'm doing, no. But, this is where the game ad comes in. Unfortunately, I don't want to destroy my console and be able to record my gamepad. So instead, here are some nice screenshots of what is basically happening down here. So we have a bunch of battle cards down here. Huey's telling me how to use them. Basically, I will drag them up into a slot, and then I will paint the cards and use them on the enemies. Different cards have different effects, and what we're going to start out seeing is a worn out jump, because it sucks and is probably the worst card in the game. So. Let's get painting once this tutorial is done, please. Touch the paint, hold it down, hit done, it's, yeah, I get it, I hit done painting. And then I flick it up with the stylus. A boom. Then I have to time this because I forgot about that. Alright, now here's where the action really eats up. Press A at the critical point of an attack and get bonus attacks like any of the... Mario RPG games. Let's do our best. You can also touch the gamepad screen. Three, four. Yes. Okay, it's very good to get those because then you kill the enemy in one go. But now they attack you. In terms of blocking, you can reduce the damage. And it gives you a fairly good window to block any damage. Although you do have to look out. Some enemies react very differently. But that's okay. I'll show them all to you. And I think I'll just stick with the worn out jumps for this battle. It's best to get rid of them as soon as you can, really. One, two, and okay, it's just the first enemy where it helps to deal all the damage. Or maybe even not. But, as I draw this fight to a close, you know what? Let's use a worn out hammer. Worn out hammers are particularly good with multiple enemies on the ground, hammers in general. As they are going to- oh, maybe I shouldn't have used it. They are going to create a shockwave which hits multiple enemies. Like this. Okay. In terms of hammers, it's good if you get a great. You never need an excellent, although if you get one, it's amazing. Color me impressed, you're a natural kid. Oh, poor Toad. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Man, I'm starving! How about that burger? Huh? Don't worry about Toad there, he'll be fine. Walk it off, bud. Hmm, well maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. But no worries, he just needs a fresh coat of paint, and he'll be as good as new. 
Really? You can revive him by pain? That's a miracle. He won't come back as a kind of freaky zombie toad, right? No, ma'am. He'll be the same toad he's always been. That's the power of paint. You see, paint isn't just for powering up battle cards. No, it isn't. It adds a life to the world. So we get to use our paint hammer now. Not just any hammer. A paint one. Now we can use it normally or... Covered in paint. Just five more minutes, ma'am. Wait, what? I'm alive! And I can feel my pants! Yeah! Oh, Toad, I'm so glad you're okay. Without your colours, we could hardly recognise you. See, that's the power of paint. Now, I've got to warn you, I gave you everything I've got, but it won't last forever. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, just, like, hit things to get more paint. I knew all that recycling would pay off. Hey, just in case we get ambushed by any more freaks with bendy straws. Where exactly are we supposed to find its magical life giving paint? Like I said earlier by skipping dialogue. But you get them in this fountain, in prison fountain in the center of the square. We've got six big paint stars hooked up to the thing and they'll put out as much paint as you like. Plus, I mean, paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer, you'll see what I mean. There we go. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was a little worried because the fountain looked completely dry when we woke you up. Yeah, so I guess we just needed to turn on or something, right? It was definitely dry when we got here. Bad <laughs> dry, good one, Toad. No, you might want to give this guy another whack with that hammer. I mean, dry, please. How big paint stars could never run dry. Come on, I'll show you. Paint stars? I don't know what a paint star is, but I definitely didn't see anything like that. And there's another colourless toad, we can't leave him like that. And I believe you actually do have to colour him in, so don't miss him. Welcome to Prisma Card Wa Wait, what's going on? Last thing I remember, I was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. Mario? Nah, there's no way Mario could come all the way out to Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? How much you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour? Anyway, stop by my shop in the blue district sometime and pick up some battle cards. Oh yeah, and if you find the shy guys who stole my cards, turn them into scrap paper. I think we've already done that, but mm, there's more. Nice work with those. Uh, my action game was great. Anyway. In there is basically a tutorial if you want to practice your jumping and hammer attacks and maybe one other type of card later on, but let's forget that. We need to go back to the paint fountain square thing. Yeah! <laughs> My precious big paint stars, they're gone, all gone. I'm pretty sure he's ugly crying in there. Um, don't cry, paint can. Maybe we could help you find the, uh, what were they called? Big paint stars? It's no use. They're gone. Oh, gone. Poor Prisma without paint stars is like, like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. <laughs> First of all, I don't really understand that analogy. And secondly, gross. But thirdly, those paint stars do seem really important to you, and you did just save my life. <laughs> Wait a second. What's that smell? It smells like a paint star. I knew it! Guys, look up there! It's one of our big paint stars! Oh, isn't it glorious? Okay, Princess, Mario, Toad, you guys can help me after all. Help me recover that big paint star. I mean, I did basically sacrifice my lifeblood to get you out of that pickle back there. He's right. We definitely owe him a favour. And besides, I have a feeling that it, this is related to our mystery. The poor toad who was mailed to us. What do you say, Mario? Will you help Mr. Can? Mr. Can is my father. You can call me Huey. Oh my goodness, I just got the pun with that name. How did I not notice? Because p Hughes colours? <laughs> Alright, let's go get that big paint star, shall we? Don't mind me, I'll just tuck myself into your pocket. If you ever want to chat, press the button and it's basically a tutorial. And I'm going to do that right away just to prevent him from doing that. Go paint the town red! 
And hopefully other colours too. Maybe you stay crisp in the face. May you stay crisp in the face of crumpling adversity. Well, thanks for the uh, very big hero pink. And with that, guys, we have obtained our main goal. And there's a whole lot of colour missing from this place. But I think, okay, before I do anything, we need to paint this toad. It's been a long time coming. Stop! Leave me alone! I'm just trying to deliver the mail! Mario? What happened to me? Last thing I remember, I was being assaulted by a bunch of shy guys with... Straws? Was that just a dream? I still feel like there's something wrong with my head. Can you take a look? Wait, first things first, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Toadmaster General here in the Port Prisma. Please feel free to stop by my humble postal branch over in the Blue District when you get a chance. You can even set up your mail to be forwarded here when you're in town. Isn't that great? Well, thanks for saving me, Mo. Gotta get back to work. Okay, and now with that, I think we will leave it off there. We now have the power of a paint hammer. We can now colour in the world and colourless toads. So next time we will reach the big paint star that is just out of my reach up at the above the top of the screen. Colour in the town, painting red and all other colours, and probably saving other toads. See you guys next time everybody, this has been Spiralling Helix, Bye bye